Okay, I'm going to uh, do a little thing that one of the uh, one of my viewers had commented on. Uh, he said you should be simulating a 95 degree temperature uh, in order to set subcool on a TXV controlled air conditioner. Now I don't agree with that. I haven't seen any manufacturers say that. However, I'm going to simulate a 95 degree temperature. Now, right now, I'm going to put this down there. Okay, we got 85 degrees ambient. Okay, our condensing temperature is 107.3. That equals about 23 degrees above the ambient temperature. So I'm condensing at 23 degrees above ambient temperature. I'm going to block off this condenser until I reach a corresponding number that would equal 95. Okay. So I blocked off the condenser on this thing and I brought my condensing temperature up to 118 degrees, which would be 23 degrees above the ambient of 84. Okay, let's see what the subcool is. Okay, my subcool is 18.9, okay, call it 19. Okay, this thing is, uh, should have uh, uh, 11 degrees of subcool. Now, because I've increased the ambient temperature by blocking the uh, condenser, you would think the subcool would go down. But it doesn't. It goes up. Why did it go up? Okay, here's what I think has happened. The inside temperature, the return air is coming in about 72. Okay, 72 and we got about a 20 degree uh, temperature split across that uh, coil. Okay, and you can see where our superheat's about 14, which would be about right because I'm checking superheat at the outdoor unit, so it should be higher. And this one runs about three degrees high uh, at at the suction line. Okay, uh, the reason I think blocking the condenser does not make a lot of sense here is because we don't have a corresponding indoor ambient that's high enough. If I had, say, an 85 degree indoor ambient, then perhaps uh, my subcool would be down lower. Reason being, I'm using more refrigerant to pull heat out of the structure, so my subcool should go down. Now, I don't say this actually really happens in all units because it, I've seen it didn't seem to make much sense. But blocking off the condenser on the outside without having a very high temperature inside is not going to give you any readings that make any sense. So, my, uh, my thought on this is do not block your condenser if you're above what the manufacturer rates as uh, uh, usable for outdoor temperature because the outdoor blocking is kind of an artificial mechanism. We do it, you know, for low ambient sometime, but uh, I'm not going to adjust my subcool or adjust my charge to change that subcool because of this. I would think if I had that 85 degree indoor ambient, uh, I would probably end up with a subcool of around 11, which is what I had. Now let's go ahead, I'm going to pull this thing off and we'll see what the subcool goes down to. 
I'm going to remove the block on the condenser. Okay, I've removed the block on the condenser, and you can see my subcool has eased back down to that 11. Now remember, this 11 degree subcool, plus or minus 3, is what the manufacturer rates this thing for. So, uh, it's pretty much right on the money. Um, I don't think blocking the condenser, you have a high temperature, more like a design high temperature, without a corresponding high temperature in the structure is really going to help. So, uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't think it helps. Hope this all makes sense to you. Uh, I did have a comment on that, and uh, uh, this is my result.